Jared, the side of beef of a human being, tells Captain uh, Sandy that she looks pretty. Then says um, that his, quote, little Russian snow pony is a little blitzed and that he can't keep up with these kids. Jared, keep eating. <laughs> Welcome aboard another brand spanking new episode of another Below Deck Podcast. My name is Dylan. I'm settled up next to one real Nicholas Davis. What's going on, everybody? Pat- Ahoy, matey. Patrick, the producer of the podcast over there behind my glasses. Hey, everybody. All right, guys. Um, we got another uh, hell of an episode of Below Deck Mediterranean Do to we? break down. Do oh. We. Hmm. Look at you getting snippy right out of the gate. Hmm. Didn't like the episode, huh? Well. Don't you dare. Get to thoughts and knots before we are at thoughts and knots. Forgive me. First, PSAs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got to get over to that below deck uh, uh, iTunes ratings and reviews over there. People are hammering us with one star <laughs> reviews. You know, one byproduct, unfortunate byproduct of uh, advertising Growth. another podcast, yeah. right? Growing is new people come in. Yeah. And some of them are fucking assholes. Yeah, they're suicidal jerks. Like, hurry up. Uh, we got multiple multiple people. I don't know if someone posted the same thing or on the same page. Two people posted one star with a one word in the body or the text of the review. It said, unlistenable. <laughs> that's, that's mean. At times, yeah. I think they're right. I think if you come in fresh and you don't get our banter, yeah. then I could see that. Well, but I, I think most pieces of content, you got to give three episodes. Yeah. Then you start to get the whole game, and oh. you're you're one of our friends at that point. No, well, Nick, uh, we around. got there's three hundred thousand podcasts out there. I don't got time to give a podcast three episodes. It, I judge in the first thirty seconds. I'm out if I don't like. Well, you do it with television shows. I ha- I hate that that uh, that line of reasoning. Uh, you got to give it like two three episodes, and you're really getting it. it's three hours of television. Why do I need to give it? Fuck that. You, the Sopranos exists. doesn't really get get good until the second the second season. <laughs> what are we talking about? And though you guys push the pin right in my uh, bubble. Yep, but I actually I agree with you guys. That's why I don't watch any TV shows. But I'm just saying to get us, you have to watch three. So oh, I right. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Or listen and to three. We should get into this. Oh, yeah, show, yeah. Right? So get over there. Give us five stars. Tell us how much you enjoy the show. Okay, great. Um, and any further PSAs? Due date is coming to Netflix. Oh. September 1st. Thank you. Well, uh, and that that is important. So mark your calendar, September 1st, the... Uh, the Robert Downey Jr. and Zach Galifianakis vehicle is coming to Netflix. Vehicle is quite the pun, considering it's their unique uh, take on the buddy road trip. You see what movie. I see? What I did there? Set me right up. And yeah, set. Up for- <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, can we get to the fan favorite segment? That is thoughts and also nots, Pat. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go. Nope. Nick's gonna go. All right. I'm I just thought, kidding. Pat's going to go. All right. that's You only get to do that once, though, Dylan. Don't overstep your A little your double boundaries. crossover. All right. I won't do it again. I'm going you right now. Busted my ankles. All right. Here's the problem with this episode. I'm not going to say it's a terrible episode, but when you come off an episode where a captain accused another employee of doing, being a druggie yeah. and then firing her yeah. and seeing the aftermath of that, it was really a fun episode to break down. Yeah. Okay? This she wasn't, accosted her in the bathroom. She yeah. thought she was flushing the drugs. That's right. It's really great. This wasn't that. No. No, this wasn't that. 50 knots. Nick. Uh, under that context, uh, yes. Uh, it's like following Joey Diaz at the comedy store. I, I, uh, this second episode of Below Deck has these fun little one-liners. How am I going to follow this obese man who's sweating? I think he's going to die, and he's talking about planes. eating his wife's monkey. Hmm. Uh, you can't you can't compete with that. Even though I have all the wit Eating or the what? forty knot. <laughs> um, okay, too much job for my taste. Uh, also, a good amount of bugs dealing with the cards that she's been dealt. Hmm. Um, not my fave, but I do love to hate. And God, do I fucking hate the Martinez family. Seventy six pots. Congrats on a hundred thousand users. You pieces of trash. Okay, so we continue our charter with. The aforementioned five-star dildo tossers from Central Florida. You'll remember we had what Nick deemed raw lobster, even though it was poached for two hours gate last week. Yes. Um, 
That one was a little wordy. Jared, the warthog, having vacuumed his dinner up already, um, sarcastically asks, now why didn't you like raw lobster? Better question, why are you the way you are? <laughs> Toby. Fucking warthog. Um, you know, this whole thing, all right, so this is kind of fun. So Tom is very frustrated. I don't think you did a great hosting here, Dylan. Uh, Tom is wigging out. He's pissed because he knows these are filthy, yucky normies from Central Florida. I was just about to say, he's channeling the G-man. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. And so he's pissed. Like, I have to fucking go out there and explain this to these morons? What yeah. the fuck? Right. And he's flipping out, and now Malia is feeling uh, she's stressed out. Well, she's been pretty even killed, even though she's dropping a dime on coworkers. Anyway, but that's beside the point. Now she co-signed on her boyfriend, and now he's flipping out, and she doesn't know how this is going to go down. Is he going to quit right here? Uh, do the guests hate actually hate his food? What's next? Uh, it, it's it's a pre pretty precarious situation Malia's put herself well, in. Well, yeah, she, he's being consoled by Captain Handstand right now, but he does say that he is too talented for this post. Did you guys bucket that at all, or mm. do you agree? I feel like, honestly, just from how you've kind of spoken about him yes. and how he's described his lineage, yes. that he may be at that level where he can say such a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I'm leaning? Yeah, I think that's where he's at, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he is too, too, far too overqualified for Captain Handstand and Captain Sandy at Beef Wellington and the uh, Warthog. <laughs> I love the name Captain Handstand. Uh, I wonder, she, we should actually get that Instagram handle and sell that because that's a moneymaker. Take it easy. And I want to go back to Pat's point very quickly. I loved every single thing you said, except you had one additional word. Uh, they are not filthy yucky normies. They are filthy yuckies. Oh, uh, yeah. They, they, they're the, the middle of America, yeah. where I come from, we are normies. Yes. It's filthy, it's yucky, but it's not these people. Yeah. Right. We try to be polite. We try to act right. It's really funny how Florida literally is like this filter. It like it just everything just kind of it's warm there. Yeah. It's like a piece of coal you run shit water through. I always say this about Los Angeles. The top two percent assholes from every major city leave their cities and descend upon us here. Well, hopefully because of our jacked up tax rate and all the homeless people walking around like fucking zombies, they'll all leave again. Uh steak is served with a Bernays and um you know, they said red port reduction i'm assuming it's some type of bordelaise two very traditional french accompaniments to beef uh this man has an appreciation for all things french in the kitchen. they bring the cake up and i fall in love with tom just a little more because he has a guttural aversion to being on display he's like i made you guys a shitty chocolate cake you people disgust me i do not want to be paraded around is that a look at you is that a direct <laughs> no 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 I, I do believe what he said was i feel like a circus monkey yeah he did that is a direct quote oh okay yeah uh, mm -hmm. i loved it like uh, obviously he's above this level but to me he embodied all wait staff who's ever had to go out yeah, and sing sure. someone happy birthday, they go out with the disdain, and the second those fucking swinging doors bust open, they got a smile, yes. and the sparklers are going yeah. off, and it's happy birthday. Yeah, people, Now get the fuck out of here. Uh, do you guys want to talk about job? Yuck. Uh, uh, which part are we at with job? What they do here? I don't uh, know. I don't uh, know. It's all lies. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I would love to watch them fuck, uh, but they're not going to make it. What are we, yeah, what yeah, are we yeah exactly. About? That's why I said uh, yuck. <laughs> um, so before fat ass Jared goes down to uh, come close to cardiac arrest with the Sir Siberian sex worker he brought on board, he calls Bugsy Roxy. Um, aside from ass face fuck face Leon, who has sex with people while he's driving his Ferraris, this is those. You know, the mm. worst charter guest of the season. Mm. Aside from ass face, fuck face, Leon. Yeah, this guy's so fucking revolting. Uh, I've learned through all these uh, reality TV shows we cover that, like, some of these worlds become really incestual. I could I could totally see, like, Leon and this group, like, connecting. Be like, you guys were fucking dope on there. Like, yeah, you, yeah, want, yeah. you want to come up, stay at our pad? We'll yeah. fucking tear shit up. Yeah, Leon's like, I can get you three women like that in cages. You can pick from them. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so can we get to the next morning? Next morning! We, uh, we're setting up for a beach picnic, but before we go, we've got Truffle Benny. Nick has been a massive fan of the breakfast dish lately. Mm. Nick will send us pictures in the group thread. I mean, you're making a good amount of money right now. I'm proud of you. But your Benedict budget per month has to be 
astronomical. And to be honest, though I've been all over LA and I I really don't know shit about food. I feel like I have yet to find a decent eggs benny. I mean, yeah, you've basically perfect. torn them all to shreds. No, I saw one where the hollandaise wasn't split. Uh, Dylan, what is your uh, critique of the uh, eggs benny? The English muffins look to be some type of chive or spinach perhaps, but they were scratch baked, which is a labor of love and a real differentiator in terms of tearing Benny. Mm. You know, um, the holidays looked a little murky. I really wish I could have, you know, kind of dove into that emulsion, but the fungal party trick that is the truffle really prevented further inspection. Um, <laughs> all in all, looked like a beautiful dish, 88 pots. Uh, what kind of meat was it? I think it was ham, Canadian bacon, some type of pork product. If I've gone to a couple places uh, looking for the Eggs Benny and there's no ham option, I get pretty upset. Yeah, I think that's (laughs) insane. What, are you going to Earth Cafe for your Benny? Uh, No, I mean, there's places that only have a bacon-type version. Oh, that's fucking... I would flip the table upside down. (laughs) All right, we walked out. We walked out. Lunch menu uh, is shrimp cocktail, asparagus wrapped in ham, lobster, scotch egg, and cured salmon. Now, um, at this point... A couple things. One, it sounds like a lovely light picnic. I don't think Jared's going to be, quote, full. <laughs> but maybe they'll toss him a couple baguettes. Um, the only thing that I bucked at was the lobster scotch egg. I'm not even sure how one would go about making a lobster scotch egg. But it's it sounds like, a you know, Frankenstein with too many toes to me. But we'll see. <laughs> it, Speaking of zombies. It does sound like quite the hot. That's three random words. <laughs> Lobster scotch. Egg. Speaking <laughs> of zombies, let's get to Rob. <laughs> he seems rather great line he's, and transition. He seems rather perturbed that his input is not being implemented. Um, his input being stop the boat. I'm holding on to this rope. Uh, and stop putting stuff in the boat. It's too full. Followed by Alex placing a bag in a spot on the boat, which was just that a spot. Mm. Very roomy, actually. At two times speed, this whole thing was very confusing, but my takeaway was, hey, Rob, quit being a pretty boy bitch. Yeah, 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 exactly. Is Job banging at this point? Because this- Uh, They have to be. They have to be, or they're not. That's right. That's why the the I love yous. I I could be way off base, you know, because I've always thought that, you know, I've said it many times before, but he wants her to choke his penis until it turns blue because of the deprivation of oxygen. Correct, yeah. Maybe they just haven't had sex yet, and that's why he's saying I love you. I'm going to go to Bali. Yeah, right. Yes, I want a refundable. <laughs> uh, Jess, I love... Hey, don't get ahead of yourself, Dilly. Jess, I love you. Thank you be- for being so responsive to the Another Below Deck podcast DMs. Thank yes. you for uh, reading. That's why I don't like Job, because I love. I really do like Jess, and I just... Call her messy, Jess. <clears throat> Job's not going to happen. Uh, and, He's stringing this poor girl along. And also, great job, Jess, of on your own, not even because of us. She didn't know because of us. A friend offered it to her, Reading Extreme Ownership by <laughs> Jocko Willink. Yeah. And she also referenced it to someone when they were not taking uh, ownership of their actions sure but there is not a chance in hell they have not fucked oh. i think that um what well one how could you not he's he's such a handsome young man but, he's a very handsome man but two i'm so i'm so happy that jess is spreading you know it, this is how thought leaders like jocko willink catch fire you know word of mouth type stuff jocko willink you gotta be kidding me you don't even have i have cancer good <laughs> jocko yeah. <laughs> okay. What don't you understand so, about that? This oh. sassy behavior. Help people with cancer in the world. <laughs> Take it. It's a stoic philosophy. This sassy Ooh. behavior will be um, compounded when he rats to the rat in the narc and uh, Captain Handstand. But before we get there, Jared, the side of beef of a human being, tells Captain uh, Sandy that she looks pretty. Thanks, prick. Then says um, that his, quote, little russian snow ponies a little blitzed and that he can't keep up with these kids jared keep eating (laughs) dill i have another take on this and why i hate him i one of my biggest pet peeves i don't know if i ever shared this with you guys i fucking hate small talk i hate a conversation that has no purpose we all hate it that's why i like cigarettes like one of the reasons i can't stop smoking is because I don't. I don't need to be a part of this circle right now. I can go. Right. I right, can right. just be with. Be by myself. You or, just gave me anxiety. How a about bunch we, of smokers. Uh, 
<laughs> out in a circle trying to talk about shit. Could you, could you imagine if we lived in a world, I think the French kind of have this because they're pretty blunt about how they feel about people. Yeah. Where in this case, Jared's talking to Sandy and he's in mid sentence. She just turns around and walks away. Sure. Dude, I had this. This doesn't work in polite society. Mm. My wife's uh, friend's boyfriend was was introduced to me, and we engaged in small talk. I said, "So, what do you do?" And he goes, "I work in digital marketing." And I, you know, I I slipped. I go, "That's just really boring." <laughs> That's not slipping. He got, he got really offended because Aww. he was really passionate about digital marketing. Like, who am I? You know, who am I to judge somebody because he's passionate about that? But holy fuck, I do not want to talk to you about digital marketing. Dude. You, know, you know what's the worst is when you get cornered by somebody and then they start talking about what country they just visited. So, you know, you're in for what, at least five minutes of them telling you like, oh, and we went to this winery. Yeah, and like, they did go to a lot of places. I start getting, <laughs> I start getting anxious. Like, how do I get out of this? I I, I, I start planning my verbal retreat. I'm like hanging on a sentence so then I can spin that into, well, that's great. It sounded like a ball of fun. Speaking of balls, uh, I got to go suck some. I don't know. I, it's <laughs> terrible. I was just going to say at that point, it become Jason Bourne and I see all my exits. That's why I wish that I just had a little bit of Asperger's mm -hmm. from time to time, you know, just so you could. Camped Twitch a little away. bit, make yeah. like rapid eye movements, and then just well, that's that's uh, uh, <laughs> that's a convulsion. That's epilepsy. Yeah, that's, it still that's works. Epilepsy, not Asperger's. Still so, work. Um, uh, back to the show. Um, <laughs> that wasn't the show. Uh, this lunch looks absolutely magnificent. Mm. Um, oh, really quickly, Malia knocks over the. Uh, oh my gosh, where am I? Just I just fucking bl blazed ahead. At this point, Rob rats on the boys to uh, Captain Handstand. I, I what about? I don't even know. He's like, I was holding onto the boat, and Pete drove it away, and he told me to let go of the boat. Can you believe that? And then she said, "I'm paraphrasing. Hey, uh, why don't you be a man and grab? Uh, do you have balls down there? Get the fuck out of here." <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so um, the lunch looks absolutely magnificent. The scotch egg, the lobster scotch egg, started to make sense to me. Hmm. It was an interpretation, as I said, a creative twist, so to speak. It was a raw preparation with um, a fetal party trick this time. little caviar. Once again, you fooled the Martinez family. Okay, so it's at this point where the warthog and the snow pony head behind the rocks. Their intention <laughs> yeah. is to um, stage a photo shoot. Of an asshole. Yeah, she'll bend over presenting her anus and distended labia to his iPhone. <laughs> is that too much? Is that too much? No. All right, so um, they're free spirits, you know. Who can judge? Certainly not They're us. on vacation. Yeah, they're on vacation. Yeah, we do this all the time, me and the wife. Hey, bend over that rock. Let me take a picture of your asshole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, honey, do you like it? Is it... You see, you see what I ate for lunch? <laughs> I, I love, once again, the uh, shutter uh, sound effect is on display once again. It's crazy. With an it iPhone. Is holding an iPhone, pointing at her vagina and her asshole. We get it. But it is wild with uh, what kind of audio equipment is it? The wind and the ocean crashing in. We yeah. are still able to. I want, I want those mics. <laughs> I want those mics. Um, okay, so the guests head back, and we've got some playful Bugsy and Alex stuff that I do not care about. Nope. But uh, if you guys have anything on them. I could care less. They're they're kind of playfully giving it to each other. Who cares? I'm so annoyed by that. It's like you, you can't call him your favorite boyfriend, and then when he asks you to go on a date, just ignore him. And then there's uh, you know stuff rubber banded back that he does to her. It's just like Dylan. I've never been like more disinterested yeah. in a uh, a fling on right. on one of these vessels. Totally. I yeah. could care less. If you two are fucking, I don't even want to know about it. All right. And there's not a chance in hell. Like, oh, Alex is all cute. Do I like Bugsy? Do I like Bugsy? The second he gets off this show, he's not uh, hitting up the 14 women that like are aggressively throwing themselves Eight. at him on Instagram. Eight. Uh, dude, there's, Two. There, dude, baby barnacles actually... Uh, really think he's hot? No, not baby barnacles, just below deck heads. Hmm. There's a lot of them out there. BDHs? We just need to get the, them listening to podcasts. That's a bad acronym. Um, okay, so uh, before we move on, they hit some drives off the deck. Um, Fun. The club path was absolutely disgusting. You can tell his right hand has way too much to do in the swing. That sounds like someone's instructor talking. Um, oh. Dude, 
I just got this new instructor <clears throat> named Joel. He is handsome. I'll show you guys. Dude, yeah, show it to me. Dude, he's like 40 years old, 45 maybe. Even. Oh. He's fucking jacked. He's so handsome. How many marriages has he ruined because I, the husband was like, hey, why don't you take some lessons and then we can go together because it's not fun when we go together. Right. Yeah, oh. exactly. I thought you were going to take a different angle. How many <laughs> marriages is destroyed? Okay. Because, you know. Yeah, the he's trainer. banging the guy. Can we move on? Oh, oh yeah. he's banging the guy. He's yeah. Like, Should I, we get I have to... no doubt he's done it both ways. He's, <laughs> Should we he's enlightened some men about their sexual preference. Rolling up the slide. Uh, Malia it is... It sounds like fucking Dylan's about to slip, to be honest. Uh, Malia, I might. <laughs> Malia is uh, fucking dominating this episode. I kind of love her shutting the zombie down into a, a, a lesser degree professional Pete, but makes me sad to see professional Pete get scolded a little bit. Mm. He's been so professional. Um, but she calls them fuckers <laughs> <laughs> after Rob asks her if she's, quote, in her head about a direct defiance of uh, defiance of a direct order. And guys, this seriously hurts his feelings. <laughs> <laughs> he sits down with Malia and her assistant, Sandy, and has the <laughs> balls, excuse me, the heart to bring up what Nick deemed... The slide should have gone on the white cover, not the blue cover gate. Pat? Rob? Yes? Where were you? Up on the bar. Can I ask what's going on right now? Because you seem very angry towards me, and I don't appreciate that. No, you can ask. You and Pete blatantly ignored what I asked you to do, and I'm not fond of it. I understand, but the thinking was, like, we could do this really quickly. It's not going to, like, take a lot it of time. It wasn't very quickly. It's now 9 o'clock, and we're just getting in our blacks. And it's so many more moving parts than just you and Pete that I have to worry about. Can okay. you appreciate that? Yes, I can appreciate that. I've okay. appreciated this entire time. Am I not allowed to be angry about that right now? You guys are angry all the time. Yeah, but I'm I didn't allowed appreciate to get being upset. called a b-er. Like, I did not appreciate that. Well, and I'm not holding on to that. Then. I'm... I'm a guy. You call me a name. I don't have any balls. Not only was it embarrassing, it was an all-time backfire. He thought he was slipping in yeah. uh, to S- Captain Sandy right. that he was called a fucker by right. his superior. Yeah. He did not understand the positional role. Once again, Captain Sandy is Malia's assistant. Yeah. She is not going to admonish you. She's going to back Captain Sandy and yes. tell you to fuck off. And I'm going to go hide in my office yeah. until I'm called. Exactly. He doesn't understand the slow takeover of Beef Wellington that Malia has executed to perfection. Perfection. He can't see it. You know, he's blinded because if I only had a brain, you know, he's a zombie. <laughs> it, it reminds me actually of the Mark Wahlberg Planet of the Apes oh. when the, the patriarch of the gorilla family was in, in a near coma and um, what's his face took that opportunity to strike and then uh, I don't really know what happened, but I'm telling you the eldest of the family was like incapacitated. Are you, I believe that was played by Charlton Heston. Yes. Ironically. It was. Yeah. Because yeah. he was the These Marky Mark. damn apes. Yeah. It was beautiful. Mm. Yes. Great, great, great call. I well, love- to be fair, I just watched it on HBO last week. I think that is an incredible movie. Like that was yeah. like when Mark Wahlberg's reputation started to turn. They were like, oh, he, he really and steered this he- film. Tells me I'm not a cinephile. Here I am thinking... <laughs> How ridiculous of you to assume that we could help you out with a recollection of Planet of the Watch Apes the movie. with Mark Wahlberg. And there, Pat just fucking nails it. Fucking shit on my face, huh? <laughs> Not even an egg. Shit. I'm all right. Let's get and to Not really does he know what I'm talking about. Has a factoid. He had a factoid. Hey, guys. Way over my guys, head. guys, guys. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank okay, you. let's Thank get to you. dinner. Uh, the belly dancer arrives. Uh, Jared, of course, cannot help himself. He has to go and get close and breathe on the attractive woman working. Uh, something that I assume is a pastime of his. <laughs> Fucking warthog. Okay, so Tom expresses concerns for cooking for people who have no palates whatsoever. Um, <laughs> that will be on display with the second dish. But first up, we've got scallops <laughs> with a dashi. Uh, it seems to be some type of nori dust garnish on the northeast corner of the plate. Nice touch. <laughs> Did think there was a 
touch too much Dashi, though. Um, Nick and I, uh, we talked about that before the show. Thank you. All I always in, say just a dash of Dashi. Uh, all in all, 78 passports. But um, should we talk about job <laughs> before we get to the perfectly cooked chicken? Oh, uh, they're complaining because they don't get to fuck in a laundry room while they're on duty? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't need to smell his balls when you deliver a cocktail to my table. I've complained about like this many balls. times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second dish, we've got miso glazed salmon with uh, throwaway broccolini and a rice and squid ink crisp. Um, evidently, there are two five-year-olds at the table who would prefer chicken over salmon. Um, Paul, you know the Lothario, the shirtless one, the white blazer with a soul patch? Um, yeah, he's the one... <laughs> He's one of the petulants who demanded chicken breast and is now less than pleased with the cook. Um, last week, he was the one that screamed, um, that's not fucking okay, when the shells were in his oyster. Um, this week, he's displaying his plate to his dining partners, yelling, that's pink as a motherfucker. Why don't you eat some raw chicken? Why don't you shave that fucking soul patch and shut your goddamn mouth? I hate these people in this goddamn <clears throat> fucking plane and by the way dylan when he said uh I, I referred to it it's pink as a motherfucker no one likes cursing more than me all right i i, I can't put my finger on how this makes any sense from a a, a statement what do you mean pink is a motherfucker oh. motherfucker what is he yeah is often used as just a kind of a filler word right oh. it's, it's used by the dumb uh, yeah. A yeah. man who cuss doesn't have the words to say what's on his mind. And Malcolm X. Yeah, it's Malcolm X. Right. I love Malcolm X. So it's really doesn't... The Sorry? Now, quit, thinking about, quit thinking about the analogy, because uh, it, it will not hold. Do you know what the word raw means, Soul Patch? And quickie, you know, it is actually a simile, because you say as. Ah. Uh, most things end up... <laughs> being similes we've discussed this uh thank you and a quick e and o yeah. uh, i said the patriarch of the ape uh the gorilla family they're apes it's the land of the apes <laughs> right is the patriarch of the ape family i'm ah. so sorry and that concludes arizona mission uh god these people are fucking filth not only does paul want chicken he wants it overcooked and he wants it overcooked now um okay let's get to another gut busting anecdote from jared bugs mm -hmm. when i met her she said my real name was tatiana but I changed it to Carmen. I said, why did you change it to Carmen? She says, because I love cars and men. I said, oh, oh, wow, I like that. Then, yeah, and then she asked me my name, and I said, I'm a BJ Golf. <laughs> because you like BJs I, and I, golf? I, I, just, I just changed my name. I, just, I don't know. Don't you? Poor Sell by Bugsy. Uh, yeah, that's the punchline. You ruined it. <laughs> uh, this man owns a company, right? That he's bragging about 100,000 subscribers now. No, that's his son's company. Uh, Nick will fill you in on his company. Uh, the father built it, actually. He did. Oh, God. Oh, uh, what did. happened to Central AC? Uh, that is actually the friend that they brought along. Oh, that's Soul Patch Paul? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, let me... Uh, the most well behaved. you think the AC King would be the wild boy. Uh, attention, uh, attorneys in Central Florida. Look this man up. Find out where this location, this business is. Stand outside the entrance and ask the employees as they leave, was work okay today? <laughs> you want to make a fucking killing? And I know it's hot. Maybe take off the blazer, but do stand out in front of that building at lunch and at office closing. And I always try to just bring it back to what we're trying to do here. Uh, we often give out ways people can make money. I've given out class action oh, great idea! so they can sign up for patreon.com slash another podcast network. You can either go to Florida and get a job there. Yeah, you got to start there. Yeah, obviously. You and work for sue. Them. Or you could pass the bar and then you could have you could pay for Patreon. I mean, you could have Flag right. of the Phoenix here. I would say pass the bar just because your future will be a little bit more bright than if you work for the ward. <laughs> The warthog? Yeah, but speaking of... Oh, yeah, those two options, I uh, guess. Um, Reach for the stars, so if you fall, you land in the clouds, which yes. is, you're a lawyer. Right, yeah, exactly. Um, so a couple things uh, with this story. Um, tragic insight into the Russian whore. Spoiler alert, she's not really a person of substance. She likes cars and men. <laughs> I don't think she chose that. You think? Yeah, I think it was... Oh, all, I don't... I think it was all for the joke. Oh, no, I don't think so. Oh, no, I don't think so. You think she changed her name because she likes cars and men? 
Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no, I think so. Oh. Do you think so? We're at an impasse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, second, the guy who's laughing really hard in the fez, <laughs> stop. Great word, though. Great, great word. Um, anything before we get to the morning time? Uh, Malia and Rob make up because he's talking about, oh, um, yes, that's right. I guess, uh, whether or not he's going to hit it and quit it or hit it and stick with it with messy Jesse. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm not a wordsmith. I was going to call you Wordsworth over here, but he spoke as though he's going to hit it and stick with it. But what he's actually doing is his final Hail Mary to get the big A. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anal. Hey, hey. Um, all right. So Sandy is not happy about the la- uh, same morning. Next morning. Sandy is not happy about the laundry. Um, you can't say she doesn't have her priorities in order. Um, anything on this or should we get to a uh, Quieros Rancheros? Just but, that, yeah. g- talk about a laundry list of problems. Yeah. Nice. 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 Now we can move. <laughs> Does it sound like you guys didn't have anything? About no, it? no, I didn't. I definitely did. Oh, no. I, uh, I hate Sandy. All right, let's get to uh, Quieros Rancheros. Um, the <laughs> way the huevos do apps. I mean, they look absolutely marvelous. This is a simple dish, the kind of dish uh, classically trained chefs often long to get back to. Eighty-five pots. Um, wow. The guests leave, um, and this broke my heart because I do not want anything redeeming from these crushed Coors Light cans of human beings. But alas, let's get to the tip meeting. Tip time? Tip time. All right. I don't know. I haven't been keeping track this season, but I believe they... Biggest tip of the season. It is? Okay. That's what I thought. All right. Now, but it's pretty interesting, the extra money they brought in. They give 20,005. All right. And that's 1680 each person. I'm curious about the extra five on that 20. Yeah. Um, I know exactly where it came from. All right. Can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Here's my theory. The small uh, pony's asshole. The Warthog, oh, well. Warthog said, Cap Sandy, what's the biggest tip you got this year? And she said 20K. Oh, okay. I got to beat that. I agree. Hey, Warthog, just leave four more dollars. <laughs> You'll still win, sure. you piece of shit. No, I thought it was from... They didn't really show this, and by really show it i mean they didn't show it and i'm making it up but i have a feeling that at like three o'clock in the morning a board i came like stomping through the place and then sandy got up and she was like what's going on he's like the snow pony's foaming at the mouth and it's because i hit her in the back of the head too hard and they got it sorted yeah. but i think the tip was like 18 five and then he threw another two just to keep her mouth shut <laughs> fair enough fair Ugh, enough war dog that's one theory may <laughs> may i pose one of myself <laughs> yeah. they're like hey captain sandy how about an extra 500 if you take this 16 inch giant <laughs> and they yeah, had yeah. a grand old time yeah. so hey tomato tomato we're she, at she, an impasse <laughs> again <laughs> nick I, I, I think it's you're on the right track. <laughs> what were you going to say she did? Oh, no. I was just going to say let's move on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair. Um, okay. So we get some. Um, hey, Captain Sandy, if you're listening, I don't like you. We get some planning. Whoa. We get some planning for the surprise that Rob's going to uh, buy a fully refundable ticket to Bali. But first, let's get. To boogie into these tunes and sitting back and relaxing to these tunes because it's time for the preference meeting. <coughs> Hit it. Time to bust out the notes. That was a little early. We did cut it off that time, didn't we? No. Because people loved your dancing is why. Uh, we need to play more music so Dylan can dance. It got a lot of people to our $10 tier, the Birds of War, at oh, patreon.com, really? such another podcast network. There's chatter about it. You didn't see the chatter? No. Uh, for our, char- our primary charter guest, we've got Johnny Damon, who, as we all know, all time dumbass all time dumbass uh but uh this all time dumbass did in fact play 18 years in the mlb of course breaking the curse he was on the team of idiots 2004 uh, uh 2000 2003 
We've done this before. Mm. Uh, it's not the same thing. Uh, uh, MLB season takes place won. from. Oh, okay. Just 2004, then. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, all right, all right. Red Sox. What about you, Boston? Uh, Boston sports fan? I'm you, actually not fami- familiar with him. Well, I mean, other than. 2004, everybody knows you, that. Yep, everybody does know that. Came back from 3 0 against the Yankees, you idiot, Pat. Oh. Doesn't know anything about Johnny <coughs> Damon. He's the all time dumbass. Mm. No, it was me. I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, it was you. And the only reason I'm reading all these stats about Johnny Damon is because I just watched it in real time. I really took it in yesterday with my girlfriend. I don't have anything about the preferences. I'm really oh. uh, derelict in my duties. Oh, oh wait. Hang, a, hang on one second. Um, so we played the music, right? Not all of it. Yeah, That's... but you knew. You knew this so whole time. So we played the music, and then you pulled up the computer to incorrectly read off the year the idiots won the World Series, and then you told us that you didn't have The whole time I'm thinking I'm ready to hear the preference sheet meeting. meeting. And I don't know what you're doing right now. You're yeah, pulling up the episode right now. But that concludes the preference sheet meeting. Does it? Yeah. Hey, I want, Dylan, I want to have a production meeting after this uh, recording. Okay, let's do it. Um, looks like we're going to have to pull Nick's pants down again and whip him in the ass. <laughs> I, I and a moose bouche on our flight of the Phoenix tier, fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, I, I would ask. Yeah. Uh, and not, that, sorry, Dylan, thirty-seven five. Even though I have no intention of engaging in any of that. Well, it's but for what do you mean? You know, you fucked by me, him. You're gonna fuck me and him. You can say thirty-seven five all you want, but someone has to update the goddamn site. We're still sitting at fifteen k, and what do we do if they pay? Although I feel like our we fuck each other. Uh, I feel, feel like our wording saved us. Anyways, uh, I'm going to ask for something <laughs> unprecedented. I would love to uh, start the top of the show next week with a preference sheet meeting. Um, oh, it's wow. All, it's all I can ask. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. All right. We'll mm. consider. <clears throat> or Patreon only. Okay, so more planning ensues. Um, I love Bug. She gets so excited about this, and Rob does absolutely... Like, like literally nothing. Nothing. Literally nothing. This romantic gesture, uh, there's a lot of people running around here like a bunch of ants, getting this whole thing together, uh, all these notes being laid out. Very romantic. Not for me. Not for me. But for a lot of girls. You have an aversion to clues. No, no. I just, I have an aversion uh, aversion to anything sentimental. It makes (laughs) me feel weird about myself inside. Well, it's because you weren't loved as a child. Uh, That's probably right. Right, (laughs) right. Yeah. A little question here, really quickly. Um, the plan was to go to Bali by yourself. Mm-hmm. Before- That's where Messy Jesse was gonna go, and then now he's bought a ticket to go with her. Love the Moxie, but what are you doing going to Bali by yourself? Do you it's not funny. have friends that are like gonna meet you? Like who who goes to countries by themselves? Hear me out. Yeah. Is there a chance she was being flown there by some pay pig? Uh, oh. <laughs> to that entertain him for weeks and she's actually the one that's now shaking her boots like what if Rob shows up hey, it's great theory I think it's very demeaning but I think it's also pretty funny Jess why don't you hit us up let us know we uh, don't have to have you on the show you could just DM the it. surprise goes off without a hitch until Jess kind of takes not kitchen cuteness from this entire thing but rather don't trust this man. He's too good a liar with his dead blue eyes and his stone jawline. Now, it's the correct thing to glean, I would argue, but what a fucking buzzkill, huh, Jess? Jeez. Uh, or possibly he gave her the inkling of the perfect cover to why he should not come to Bali because she is, again, working. <laughs> and I think that should be deemed a compliment to get You this. think that it's a compliment to call her a sex worker? Well, who said anything about sex? She's a companion. And also you sex. You said something about and sex. And also sex work is real work. Hey, can I uh, go back to this, uh, her finding out that he's a liar? He's doing something nice here and then she calls him a liar. Sure, based yeah. Upon it. <laughs> yeah. One time when I when I first started dating the crazy Le- uh, Lebanese girl, Lana. Yeah. It's great, insane how much she comes up. Great blowjob. So I tell one of my best friends, Ashton. I, I'm into this girl, man. And by the way, she gives one of the best blowjobs you ever had. He said, how do you think she got so good? 
porn. You watch porn. Then no, I instantly got game. mad at her. Oh, wow. What a psycho. Next morning. Um, we meet our new stew at 4.45 in the morning. It's Kermit the Frog. Oh, my God. It's so good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tight. She's going to get along with everybody. Who gives a fuck? Fuck, yeah. Well, I got a, I got a little, uh, little hot take here. Ah. <laughs> she seems like the type of person who would possibly choke Rob's penis until it turned blue. Oh! oh no. I think there may be a little... Oh. Uh, little attraction between Rob and Asia. Asia has a very free spirit that is really, really attractive. I think men gravitate to her because she's beautiful, but she's also one of the guys. And I think that that could breed a little bit of trouble in this relationship. Oh my God, I love tying off the penis until all the blood circulates to the end of it. Stop <laughs> like the Oh my God, it's purple. <laughs> all right. Better. That, was better. that is it for us tonight. We'll be back next week with another brand spanking new episode of another Below Deck podcast. Remember, guys, we are in <laughs> fucking uniforms for a fucking reason. Video is only available at patreon.com slash another podcast network as is the flight of the phoenix tier where we will fuck each other on camera for fifty thousand dollars not read the fine print um uh, we will see you soon remember jump in the itunes ratings and reviews and join us on facebook we've got a wonderful facebook community uh search another below deck podcast and we'd love to mix it up because a couple people post too much at <laughs> way too much. <laughs> um, all right. We'll be back next week. I'm Dylan saying goodbye. Nick, say goodbye. Bye voyage. Uh, Pat, later dudes. <laughs>